Hello, this video will cover how to create an interactive key metric dashboard. We will go over how to format and build interactivity in order to create a high level dashboard that is simple and beautiful. I can see the current state of my business, focus in on a particular region, filter my dates, and hone in on a particular state. Let's start off by building a chart of my total sales. Create a new sheet and bring in sales to my row shelf. Right click and drag order date to columns, allowing me to select continuous month from the drop down options. I can adjust the chart by utilizing the marks card. I'll select an area chart and change the color to a light gray. Since I want to include a lot of key metrics on my dashboard, I don't want to overcomplicate the design with axis numbers and grid lines. In order to hide the headers, right click on the axes and deselect show header. To get rid of the grid lines, right click and select format, navigate to the last option, lines, and drop down on grid lines to select none. If we go back to my dashboard, we will notice my labels here are changing with all of my selections, which means I need to create a dynamic label. There are two simple ways to accomplish this. The first one involves editing the title. If you right click on the blank area and select title, we can see that the default title is the name on the tab. Let's right click to edit my title and I would instead like this to be called total sales. Here's where I need to bring in my total sales amount. The trick here is that just by bringing in sum of sales, it will display as a range but I would like a single number to represent my total sales. Let's create a calculation titled total sales. Here I will take the window sum of my sales, which represents the total sales in my view. Now let's bring total sales to my detail shelf. When I edit the title, I can insert my total sales calculation here. We can also center and format this title as well. Now I have a single number which represents the total sales in my data. The other approach to creating dynamic labels would be to make a new sheet bring sales onto text and edit this label in a similar way to how we edited our title. Both approaches work, but for this dashboard, we use the dynamic title approach when building this. Although this is a high level view, we can still add the ability to filter to get a more granular view of my data. Here I'll add a date filter, such as a relative date filter, which will allow my end users to filter relative to today. Next, I'll add in a region filter by right clicking to show that quick filter. And here I can see my chart dynamically update based on those selections. Now let's look at the seasonality of my sales, which is what we did here with this highlight table. Bring up a new sheet and put sales onto color. Right click to drag order date to columns and select weekday. Repeat this process to bring order date to the row shelf, but instead select month. Since I have far less sales on the weekends, I'm going to exclude 
Saturday and Sunday in order to focus on my weekday trends. Once again, I will unselect show header from both my pills in the column shelf as well as the row shelf. And now I can change the color to blue. Since I am eliminating a lot of access labels and headers from my view, tooltips will allow the end user to see the data while keeping the view simple. Double click on tooltips, and here I can increase the size of the text, eliminate any of the labels I don't want to include, and generally format how my end user will see that tooltip. The last view we will create together is the donut chart before bringing our charts together in an interactive dashboard. Create a new sheet, and while holding down control, we'll select profit, category, and order date. Utilizing show me, select pie chart, and drag profit off of size, and now we'll need to make a duplicate chart in order to fully customize our end look. Let's bring out minimum number of records to our column shelf and duplicate this step. We can see we now have multiple marks cards that we can manipulate. On the bottom mark card, drag category off of color and decrease the size. Change the color to white so that when we dual access these two charts, we see that donut chart appear. Once again, we'll deselect show header and now I can easily see profit contributions year over year. This video in by no means shows an exhaustive list of the possible charts. We are just focusing on a small sample. Feel free to go over the completed workbook to see how all the charts in this dashboard were created. But for now, we are going to fast forward to building out the final interactive view. Add a new dashboard and I'll adjust my sizing to match my exact specifications. Now we need to decide how we will make our charts pop. There are multiple different approaches. The one used in this video is to darken the background and float the charts on top for emphasis. An alternative approach would be to import a background image with borders and float the charts on top of that. To recreate this example, go to Dashboard, Format, and change the default shading to a light gray. I'll change my new objects to be floating. And now we can start building out my dashboard. First, I'll bring my category profit contributions, adjust the size of my box to how I'd like it to appear on my dashboard, and change this to entire view. I'll hide my color legends to keep the focus on my high level metrics. I can bring in my area chart and size this similarly. I've utilized this approach to build out the entire dashboard, but for now, let's fast forward to my completed view. Let's apply the filters to the entire dashboard, since currently they just affect the view that I built them on. Click on the caret on the quick filter, and under apply to worksheets, select all using this data source. Repeat this process with my order date filter. We can also filter on a specific chart, such as our map. Drop down on the map and select Use as Filter. 
This is one example of how to build a high-level key metric dashboard. There are endless ways to analyze data in Tableau. Feel free to download the ending workbook to fully build out this view or utilize some of these tips and tricks with your own data. Thanks for watching.